Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's June 28th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First things first, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of June 28, 2024, Clean Energy Fuels Corps is sitting at a value of $2.66 per share. Opal Fuels Incorporated is currently sitting at $4.14 per share. Brookfield Renewable is up to $28.40 per share. Black Hills Corps is at $54.24 per share. And lastly, Nextera is currently sitting at a value of $70.22 per share. But moving into the news, first up, QED Environmental Systems Incorporated, a leading manufacturer of innovative environmental products, has appointed Mike Sebion as its new president. Mike makes the transition over to QED after having spent nearly 30 years with parent company Graco Incorporated, where he most recently served as vice president of global industrial engineering. On his new role, Mike said, quote, I am delighted to take on the role of president of QED. After nearly 30 years at Graco, I feel that now is the right time to make the transition and believe that I can continue to drive the company forwards as a force for good and custodian of the natural environment, as my predecessor has done so well for so many years. My time at Graco means that I am familiar with QED and its workings, though I am looking forward to digging into the nuances of its product offerings and services and truly embedding myself within the QED culture. End quote. And up next, a coalition of about 200 truck and fleet-related companies and organizations has filed a lawsuit on behalf of renewable natural gas users seeking changes to a ruling from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. The Transport Project, a Washington-based organization comprised of vehicle and engine manufacturers and dealers, fleet operators, servicers and suppliers, and fuel producers, objects to the EPA Phase 3 final rule on green house gas emission standards for heavy-duty vehicles. The interest group levels three charges against the EPA rule as it will be applied to RNG fleets, saying that 1. It relies on incomplete data associated with the pace of compliant technology development and the related costs to fleets to comply. That 2. It fails to acknowledge and incorporate provisions recognizing the significant emission reduction benefits of renewable biofuels like RNG in reaching key emission reduction targets. And that 3. It ignores stakeholder requests and pre previous EPA commitments to include total life cycle assessment considerations. Jeffrey Clark, the Transport Project's Vice President of Government and Regulatory Affairs and General Counsel, said, quote, This final rule unfairly and capriciously manipulates outcomes to advance favored technologies, instead of accelerating the pace of all clean vehicle technology development and reducing greenhouse gas emissions and other harmful pollutants, this regulatory action would slow that progress by discouraging fleets from continuing the phase-in of more natural gas fuel trucks and accelerating more RNG use, end quote. And up next, Patrick Surfass, the executive director of the American Biogas Council, recently released a paper where he argued that Americans could need up to an additional 500 terawatt hours of power come 2028, citing multiple forecasts from major American utilities. Among those, the North American Electric Reliability Corps forecasts 78 gigawatts of winter peak demand growth over the next 10 years, this up from 40 gigawatts of forecasted growth just two years ago. The Electric Reliability Council of Texas, the state's grid operator, recently issued a long-term demand forecast showing 62 gigawatts of peak demand growth by 2030. PGM Interconnection, the grid operator for 13 states in the Mid-Atlantic and Washington, D.C., forecasts 25 gigawatts of peak summer demand growth by 2034. And in the Pacific Northwest, 8.5 gigawatts of summer peak demand growth is expected, representing a 30% increase over 10 years. Surface argues that the availability and affordability of renewable natural gas could serve as a primary solution to this new demand. 
And speaking of the growth of the renewable natural gas industry, Amatis, a renewable natural gas and renewable fuels company focused on low and negative carbon intensity products, has announced that its Amatis biogas subsidiary completed a key milestone of constructing and operating dairy digesters with a capacity to produce more than 300,000 metric meter BTUs of renewable natural gas per year. Additionally, the planned construction of new digesters is expected to increase the annual RNG production rate to over 800,000 MMBTUs by the third quarter of 2025, more than a 150% increase from their current production rate. And just a reminder, Recyclist is a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com. Or you can even set up a personalized presentation by calling 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. Evergen has just announced the execution of a 20-year offtake agreement with Fortis BC Energy Incorporated through its wholly owned subsidiary, Fraser Valley Biogas Limited, subject to the acceptance by the British Columbia Utilities Commission in Canada. Under the terms of the agreement, Fortis BC will purchase renewable natural gas from Fraser Valley for injection into its natural gas system. This agreement ensures a stable and predictable supply of RNG for Fortis BC while providing Evergen with a dependable customer and long-term revenue stream, according to the organizations, with the CEO of Evergen even saying, quote, The execution of this agreement has further solidified Evergen's long-standing relationship with Fortis BC. We would like to thank the company for their continued support as a valued stakeholder of the Evergen platform. And sticking with Fortis BC for just a moment, with recent approval from the British Columbia Utilities Commission, as of July 1, 2024, Fortis BC Energy Incorporated gas customers will have 1% of their gas automatically designated as renewable natural gas. This may sound low, but this will make Fortis BC the first energy utility in North America to automatically designate RNG for its customers. Doug Slater, the Vice President of Indigenous Relations and Regulatory Affairs at Fortis, said, quote, It is clear that our province needs all available tools to address climate change and support an affordable energy transition toward lower emissions for residents, businesses, and industry. The gas system is undergoing a transition as we work to increase the supply of renewable and low-carbon gases like RNG to lower emissions, and this new RNG blend offering will help us do that. End quote. But up next, the Chesapeake Utilities Corporation has successfully commenced the first renewable natural gas injections from its facility at Full Circle Dairy in Madison County, Florida. This initiative is managed by FPU Renewables and their parent company, Florida Public Utilities Company, both of which are subsidiaries of Chesapeake Utilities. The RNG facility, which started construction in February 2023, is designed to harness methane from dairy cow manure. It is expected to generate around 100,000 decatherms of RNG annually. The facility aims to capture and convert about 1,116 metric tons of methane annually into RNG, which is equivalent to reducing about 28,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions. According to the EPA's Greenhouse Gas Equivalencies Calculator, these reductions are akin to removing 6,000 gasoline-powered cars from the road for a year or offsetting the annual energy of more than 3,500 homes. And lastly, a quick story from Clean Energy Fuel Score, as the company announced this past week the opening of a new RNG gas station in its hometown of Kearney's Point. The new station is strategically located in the important trucking corridor between Philadelphia and Wilmington, Delaware, near Interstate 295 on the New Jersey Turnpike, and is now part of Clean Energy's fueling network of over 600 stations in North America. 
Chad Lindholm, senior VP at Clean Energy, said, quote, The Kearney's Point Station gives fleets that operate in the Philadelphia and South Jersey area access to a much cleaner alternative fuel. One of the benefits of RNG is that it's available in significant quantities today and is already helping to decarbonize the heavy-duty vehicle market. We are pleased to provide truck fleets a convenient location in this important corridor with an ultra-low carbon fueling experience. End quote. And that has been your June 28, 2024 news roundup brought to you by Recyclist, a trademark of Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.